Hey what's going on guys, it's Cameron here and today I'm going to be helping you guys optimize your gaming laptops. There's a lot of people out there who have laptops that I haven't made a video just specifically for laptop users and honestly I've always envied laptop gamers because they could literally play anywhere they want. You could literally play in a park, you could play on the subway back to your house, you could even play at your great aunt's funeral that you don't know why you're there attending. And meanwhile, I'm just stuck here at my desk with my legs occasionally going to sleep. So yeah guys, I want to share with you guys my best tips for laptop users, because to be honest, sometimes their machines don't run quite as good as desktops do. So yeah, don't worry, this will even work for pizza box laptops. Now there's a bunch of different options you could use, but if you're actually on like kind of a lower end medium build, a uh, laptop like it's not so high-end I'd recommend performance mode now if you're on like an RTX graphics card that's like the RTX 2000 RTX 3000 series you're gonna want to be on DX12 and the reason for that is most people on those newer RTX actually gain a better performance because of the fact that it uses DX12 better um, it has a better capability of experiencing higher FPS and lower input lag on DX12. But for the vast majority of everybody else, just to use performance mode, it's easier and it gives you the best performance because it just cuts out all the other crap that you don't really need to play Fortnite well. So here's kind of the first pro tip I want to give you guys. I actually found this out by doing like tons of research. If you're on laptops, you actually want to be at 99% 3D resolution. You could try this on desktops too. And the reason being is because Fortnite is very CPU heavy, so this just gives it a little bit more room to breathe and allows it to kind of stay optimal and give you a more stable FPS. Obviously, you're gonna to wanna to have V-Sync off. You never really want that on. Uh, all it does is prevent tearing by dramatically increasing input lag, and that's never a fun thing to experience. So just keep V-Sync off. You wanna have meshes on low. Some people don't like low meshes. You can move it up to high. You're not really gonna to see too big of a difference here. I just prefer low myself because the mobile builds don't look that bad. Textures, I keep on low as well. Although if you have a pretty high GPU, you definitely wanna bump it up to high or epic. This can kinda of even the payload of your system resources and can better distribute it, especially on a laptop. So if you have really good graphics card on your laptop, like maybe like a 2000 to 3000 series, you can try high or epic. Otherwise, just keep it on low. For view distance, you actually typically just want to have it on near, and the reason being is you literally won't have like any difference in game. It's actually super minimal, um, the difference in view distance, but it can actually help you out a lot having it on near. And for all the other settings, like these graphic settings, these don't really matter. Some people like to pretend that colorblind settings will actually increase your FPS, but in reality, all of these are just for looks and don't actually affect FPS in the slightest. Now, I do want to talk about the windowed mode. You always want to be on full screen when you're on a laptop. Um, also, you'll want to set your FPS limit uh, like one level above your hertz of your monitor. So if you have a 240 hertz monitor, you want it at 360. If you have a 144 hertz monitor, you want it at 160. If you have a, I don't know, like a 60, you want to have it on 120 and vice versa. Just have it one FPS limit above. This gives it room and allows it to kind of maintain a higher FPS refresh rate. Um, the reason you want to have it on full screen is because full screen actually gives you the lowest input delay out of all the windowed modes and also it ignores other background running apps. So it actually can increase your FPS. So if you have Discord or like Twitter going on in the background, you will still be able to like get notifications, but it won't be causing system resources, you know, so you, you basically get the best of both worlds. You can have other applications when you want to switch to them. You can just by pressing your Windows key. But yeah, for the most part, absolutely keep it on full screen. You're going to get the best options there. Now, this is something interesting I do want to talk about. For very low-end resolution uh, folks out there, if you're rocking like, let's say a 970, you know, like 960, something that's really kind of lower end, you actually want to be on like the middle resolution. Um, you don't want to necessarily be on the highest because the middle one, will dramatically increase your FPS. Um, we're talking like 30, 40%, sometimes 50, up to 100% FPS gains just by dropping down one resolution. And if you really don't have any difficulty at all playing on a medium resolution, doesn't hurt your eyes or anything, I would do it. I know that it does kind of take away from your experience playing the game. It's just a little bit more grainy. 
but trust me if you're running into like fps lag and stutters it's a really crappy situation so just run the medium one um, and then just hit apply go ahead and try that out for a while see how it works for you now there's a bunch of other out of game settings that we want to tweak for you so first off i absolutely recommend going to your power settings now there's going to be different options depending on your needs when you're on a laptop your battery can die a lot quicker by the way you want to go you, you want to go to additional power settings here when you go to additional power settings you have tons of different options here so I think by default yours is on balanced, which is the recommended option. This works well if you kind of have a low battery life on your laptop and it really can't handle like full usage. But if you really want to get the best performance, I heard that high performance tends to be the best for laptop users as it's going to favor performance, but it's not like these other power plans like the AMD Ryzen high performance or the Atom X power plan, you know, they're going to give you some additional performance gains in high performance. Now do be aware this will use more energy, right? So if your laptop gets hot or if you notice the battery dies really quick in it, you'll want to switch that back up to either balanced or like, um, you know, power saver, but power saver will actually reduce your performance and saves energy. So keep that in mind. So maybe balanced would be the best option for people who really don't have that high end of a, or like a good battery life on their laptop. Now, the other thing to mention, if you have your laptop plugged into power, obviously don't worry about any of that. If you always have it plugged into power, just go to high performance. All right, and the next part I wanna talk about is something I'm really excited about, uh, that I've been talking about on the channel quite a lot. It's actually FPS boosting apps that you can download actually give you higher frame rates. So the three I have on the screen are from a video I made. I'll have that video kind of linked on the screen. You guys can check it out in the description. And it's a really great video because I actually test all three of these together. And they all three gave me an FPS boost, which is insane. But yeah, they all three work. So you really can't go wrong choosing any of them. Um, all you do is just download them, open them, and they basically have like a built-in like game mode option. As you can see here, just says turn on game mode. It literally does all the processes for you, giving you insanely better FPS gains. I got like 30-40% more FPS just using this app alone, which is awesome. Now for the next part, I do want to talk about just having game mode on. I've expressed this so much on my channel, but yeah guys, just type in game mode and make sure the settings on. This always gives you better FPS on Windows 10. On Windows 11, it's not as good, but you can definitely try game mode to see if your game runs a little better. And uh, yeah, it just optimizes your PC. So there's a second FPS boosting video I made earlier, and I'm gonna have that linked on the screen here. Definitely check this FPS boost guide out as well for even additional FPS boosting tips. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope this helps all you laptop gamers out there. You guys have an awesome day. Peace out for now.